Hello everyone, uh, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. On the last episode, we came back from the Mudbug Island after we took care of the Den of Evil there, the, uh, Oubliettes of Suffering, and now we come back to Scuttletown, and it's like a crazy, crazy place. We have a lot of squids right here, we have a lot of squids. Let's take care of our squids first. Hello, Miss Squid Smith. I would like, I want squids to be my hearts. Give me all the health you possibly can muster. Yummy. All right, no, give me. Some, I want some more. We have, we have eight. We have actually have, yeah, a lot of squids on us actually. <laughs> but what the heck is going on here? The music changed. Everything's like industrial. What the bloody heck? Let's go talk to Mr. Ammo Baron and see what the heck is going on here. Mr. Ammo Baron. Would you care to comment? Not you again. I thought you were out of my hair for good. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you've done to this place. The last mirror wasn't too bright. <laughs> That's an understatement. But at least you cared about us. You're just using this place for your own selfish gain. It's my town and I'll do what I want. Drat, where's that blasted targeting module going to arrive? And where's Barracuda Joe? Can't install without him. Speaking of which, you seen him around, kind of nondescript guy? And what happened to my new recruits? Come to think of it, they never did come back from the palace. What's taking them so blasted long? We can't get this show on the road without them either. Well, that is a specific set of instructions for us. We did get a map to a new place, Frostbite Island, but... On this episode, we're going to be taking some detours back to some old places, such as Spiderweb Island. Yeah, you. Why, why would we need to go here, you may ask? Well, we also got a lost soul from uh, a friend of ours, a, a weird silhouette guy who apparently was looking for his lost daughter and stuff. And so maybe we can figure out what the heck this lost soul is for, who it belongs to, and all that good stuff. And hey, yeah, Risky's boots, aren't they amazing? <laughs> Hello, Poe. I am here to take a ride over to your brother's house, because uh, I need to talk to him. He probably has some good intel on what's the deal, yo. What's the lowdown on these lost souls and all that good jazz. So, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Yo, Abner, what's the... Oh. Look who's back. So what's this I hear about you and Whiskey Boots? What? What? Uh-huh. You know how I might when it comes to us. But I suppose you can team up with her when it's all fine and dandy. You've got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. So, what brings you all the way out here anyway? Oh, um, I found a place. The Village of Lost Souls. You don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I've been working on. None of your biz, sis. Aww. Anyway, I found this here. There. Whatever. I found it somewhere. Oh, how cute. It's a wandering soul. He must have been separated from his body and can't find his way home. Whose soul is it? Only one way to find out. He used to trigger the right memories. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life, something he'd never forget. Oh, a true love, someone he or she will remember for all time. Or oh, maybe something embarrassing. Like, maybe he did diaper commercials as a child. And he still wears them because he misses being in the spotlight. You're wrong! Who said that? Comfort and convenience ain't no crime. Well, it's... Barracuda Joe! See, that wasn't so hard. Here, take the spear back to him. He'll be up and about in no time. Well, assuming you kept the body. If not, I've got a few spears lying around. We got the spirit of Joe. It looks kind of sad. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. He's no big deal. Listen, Ratty. I met someone in the village of Lost Souls. She explained some things to me, and, well, I just want you to know, whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. Really? Through thick and thin. 
no matter what. Big brother. Thanks for means, it's this. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have a dinner? That's like exactly the kind of garbage I'm talking about. Oh, that's so that's a touching little scene right there. They'll be friends forever. And also we got Joe's soul, apparently. And how nice of her, they had the spare air bodies lying around in case we needed them. That was a uh, that was a nice gesture, I suppose. <laughs> so out of the ghost forest, we need to go to another island as well. We need to pick up one other thing. Uh, Ammo Baron specifically stated that he needed Biarcuda Joe and his two new recruits. His three recruits are at the palace, but they're waiting for something to happen, so we kind of have to go and make that something happen. What is that something? Well, we'll find out in a little bit. For right now, let's shove off to... Tanline Island. There's a, a cackle bat we can pick up here as well. Tanline Island is so much fun to use, Risky Boots with. Like, Risky Boots are just the best best item in the game. I, I just, I, I don't care if someone says it's different. I think the best item in the game is just plow through everything, kill everything, get some money, all this good stuff. Plow through all this, we actually need to go this way because... When you pass this and then look at this, we gotta go through all this stuff. Bye 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 And into here, get some money. Awesome, possum, blossom, and we get a new sword for us! Yay! We got an enchanted blade! Well, I wish it was a new sword for us. And unfortunately, it's a key item, so we gotta we gotta keep this, because it belongs to somebody. But, who said they need an enchanted blade? Well, we'll figure that out. Uh, for now, we're gonna head just a little further into Tanline Island to go and get the final cackle bat here, so we can be done with this area and never have to come back. Oh, yeah, kind of sad at this point. We are officially, like, finally taking care of stuff on these islands. Like, we're not going to be coming back to Spiderweb Island anytime soon. We're not coming back to this island after we're done here. So, uh, say goodbye to these places if you've enjoyed them. Because, uh, we're not going to see them. And I did enjoy them. So, bye bye place, or at least bye bye Spiderweb Island. I haven't... We, uh... We're still here in Tanlight Island, so I think we'll be fine for a little bit. So, let's mosey on over here. The Kecklebat in question is not too far from Tanline Temple, it is right over here. We actually tried to get it earlier, but we couldn't because we did not have Risky's Boots yet. It is down this hole, you would have needed the Shimitar to open that hole earlier. We already opened it previously, so that's why the hole is already open for us. So all we need to do is just right along this path, um, get rid of this Cactus guy because he's going to be in the way. And then, get a running start. And boom! Hello, Mr. Cacklebat. I am here to claim your dark magic for my own purposes. Because I am a selfish genie. Actually, you are stuck. You are stuck. Do I have... I do indeed have a pike ball. Okay. I will use this to actually do the final touches to damage on you. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> Alright, with that dark magic, we should be at, I think, 15? 14. Okay, 14. Miscount just by a little bit. Now then, we're gonna head back to, um... We're gonna head back to Scuttle Town, to the main, the main land. Ah, oh, freak, I always, I always mess that up. There's always that little, there's these little ledges, and it's like, yeah, use Risky's Boots, and then you run into the legends, it's like, oh man. So, Tanline Island, this is, this is goodbye. It's been a fun time, I love you, you're a fun desert area, you have really funky awesome music. But bye Scorpion ladies, I will not miss you, because you guys suck. And bye bye archers, you guys also kind of suck. So bye bye. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cactus, I'll miss you though. You're cute. You're a cute little dude. Except when I run into you, like a moron. Okay, I am just going to float away, and that's all we're gonna do. I really want the roots to activate, but oh well. We don't need to go super fast some all the time. Just some of the time. All right, let us use our ship to go back to Scuttle Town! Or, I guess it's technically becoming Ammo Town at this point. Now then, uh, using Risky's Boots, we can actually zoom through this area, zoom through both the Scarecrow Fields and Tangle Forest with relative ease, and this is just this is so much fun. I love this pull apart, like, when you get to do this, because there's so much great open space for you to do this, and it's just, oh my goodness, it's so it's a lot of fun. Speedrunners have uh, the greatest time with this, because you get to do this right off the bat since you start with all the uh, pirate weapons when you do pirate mode. So that's fun. Also, we destroyed that. We just can just keep plowing on through. Now, what we do need to do is we need to talk to those three right there. See, there, there's the recruits that Ammo Baron was talking about. But first, we want to go down here. There's something for us that we would definitely like. 
What what kind of thing is that? Well, probably a cackle bat. Probably. I mean, we kind of do need to collect those. If you don't want to collect those, that's fine, but you're not going to get the best ending. Uh, I will tell you that right off the bat. There are multiple endings for this game, and if you don't get those cackle bats, you ain't seen that good ending. I mean, you'll see an ending, but it just won't be... It won't be the best one. So do you want the best ending, or do you just want an ending? I think we want the best ending, because we want everything to end happily and stuff. Speaking of happily, this guy just falls down. He's, he's happy about falling down. I don't think that's actually a thing, but I'm going to assume it is. Hello, C cackle bat? Mr. Cacklebat, please. In the lamp with you. Thank you, my good sir. In the lamp. Okay, explode. There we go. Now we have 15 magic. That's why I was probably getting confused by us getting those all mixed up. Now then, let's get out of the sewers and go see what's going on with those two recruits. They look kind of familiar, though, actually, now that I think about it. What's going on? Oh, look, it's Brandon. He secretly transforms into Brandson. He's a very popular hero all over the world! But, where's his enchanted blade? Why am I studying this totally buff, gorgeous loser? He's supposed to be Branson! Come on, guy, transform already! Total ripoff. Guy's apparently waiting for, like, some kind of He-Man guy. What's up, what's up, Brandon? Is that... Is that the enchanted blade? You found it! And we did. Here you go! My blade! Now that I have it, I better make myself scarce. I'm pretty sure my good friend Branson is about to... make a sudden appearance! Oh gosh. Shh! He's gonna say the words! Hi, you guys! We should go get matching purses! No reason they should just be for ladies anymore! Am I right? Hey, fellas! Don't leave! Fellas, come back! It's Branson! Shout your battle cry! I gained the advantage! Now then, only a trio of others are privy to my deception! The bold enchantress, the man with the guns, and the hobmage. And now me, four. Right, four. Together we protect Castle Boneface from the uncouth legions of the Grim Reaper's ghost. Ah, your adventures sound a lot cooler than mine. They are, and I'm also an excellent role model. I'm not, on account of my bad temper and outlandish outfit. Just remember, kid, it's not what's on the outside, it's not what's on the outside, like skin and hair. It's on what's, it's what's on the inside that counts. A kind heart, and blood, and guts. That's what makes the whole body go round. Thanks, that means a lot to me, Brandon. Who, who's Brandon? Knock it off, you're the same guy, it's the jazzier halter top, and a weirder voice. Okay, show's over, get going, and remember, tell the truth, and be true to yourself. Ha, ah, sweet, we saw it. Yep, but the Grim Reaper's ghost will pay good money for this info. Let's head back to Ammo Baron before he notices we're missing. See ya, girlfriend. What? The girls from Saliva Island? You work for the Ammo Baron? Well, that was a... that was a thing, and Mr... I have no idea how to change back! You're an idiot. Alright, let's head back to Scuttletown. Okay, yeah, Branson is a weird, weird dude. He, uh... He's gained the advantage, alright. What advantage he has, I have no idea. He's a fun little guy, I hope he makes appearance in later Shantae games, because he just has... he has this kind of weirdness about him. I have a feeling he might be kind of a reference to one of the other uh, way forward games. Uh, like, I feel like he his design seems like it come from Mighty Milky Way, but that might just because they're all designed by the same guy. So, um, I don't know. But he is a weirdo, that is for sure. But I like weirdos. He's just a very strange weirdo. Now, before we end this episode off, let's go and buy some extra goodies that we can get at the shop here. Let's see what we got in stock for us today. 
We could get, uh, we could upgrade our, we could upgrade speed, or we could upgrade that. We could also upgrade our pistol, the shimmer tar polish. Oh, we're one gem away from the back, from the uh, power kick. I want to get that, so let's quick, I will actually get that one gem off screen, and we'll get the power kick at the beginning of next episode. We'll be heading off to that new aisle next time, so this is a very interesting episode because we were just going on these errands and we... Technically did not need to do all this stuff yet, but I thought it was a good idea to kind of have a little break from our adventure, to go on back, revisit old places, see new faces, all that kind of stuff. So, I will see you all in the next one. Oh, I have to return Joe's soul as well. So we gotta do that. We gotta return the soul of Joe. <laughs> so, I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, the original Shantae, and Shantae Risky's Revenge are all available on Nintendo 3DS. Please pick them up and give them a shot because they are pretty, pretty fantastic games. Support WayForward and all their hard, awesome work. Otherwise, please have a great day, and until then, vote Shantae for Smash. Ciao!